Hey folks, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, putting the stretches into the chair. Uh, the first thing you'll see is that I've reamed and fitted all four legs and I've actually put some marks on them here so we know which leg is which and uh, which way they're orientated in the chair. On leg number one, I've just put one little mark. Leg number two, I've put two. Leg three and four, I've got four marks. Just so when I look down a leg, it's very obvious to me if it's in the wrong hole. As we said before, the, where the stretcher goes into the leg is where our score line is. Now this distance from the bottom of the chair to the score line is exactly the same on all four legs. So I've marked on the score line where I want my drill bit to go, which is basically the halfway point on the chair, looking at it from where the chair leg is. So we need to drill two holes that are facing each other. Now if I was to try and drill that hole now, obviously this chair leg is in my way. So I just need to rotate this leg enough so that I can drill that hole and not have this chair leg in my way. And I'm going to make the lines go with about two millimetres apart. That's all. So if I turn this leg just to click and you watch my pencil, it just moves it so that I can now get my drill down the side of this leg. And now I know that if I put my drill next to this chair leg, it is on the right angle to drill the hole. OK, so we have our orientation on this angle. One last thing before I put the drill into the wood is I need to make sure that the drill is level with where the mark is on the opposite chair leg. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm just going to put my finger straight across. And I'm going to rest the drill on the back of my finger. As you can see, I've got a bit of blue tape sitting in that drill, sitting on the drill, sorry, at an inch depth. So as soon as the tape is about to go into the wood, I know I'm at the right height. So set the height there, lean on my finger, start drilling. I'm going to hold the leg while it cuts in, and then go back to have my finger here. it. One hole. Jump to the other side, twist the two millimetres again. Now the blue tape on the drill bit indicates how deep we want to drill the hole, which is the depth the tenon goes into, the, sorry, the stretcher goes into the leg. Do the same from the other side. So the next part of our process is to fit the stretches into the holes that we've just drilled. Now I've got some of my stretches here that I've already roughed out and dried and I, I need to know what length to make those. So I'm going to measure the distance between these holes at exactly the same point on each leg and then add the depth of the tenon to it. Okay, I get that as 11 and three sixteenths. So I'm going to write that down on the base of my chair. Eleven and three sixteenths. Which is between stretches two and one. This is the point we measured from to get the distance between the two legs. So I'm going to measure at exactly the same point to get the depth of my mortise. And then I will add that to this distance. Okay, so I've measured the opposite side as well, and I do have a slight discrepancy between the two, which is very normal. Your wood might warp a little bit as it dries, you might have slightly di different depths to your tenons, it could be that the angles are slightly wrong. So we're not, now we need to know which one goes on which side. So I'm going to write the size that I need to make them on them, and then I will write that this one is 12 and 7 eighths, and that is between legs number one and two. 
This one is 12 and 3 sixteenths and is between legs number three and four. And now it's just down to take those to the lathe and go and turn them.